How's it going everyone? Bob here, KD4 BMG HOA Ham. Gable Radio pulled a fast one on me. So I do a lot of consulting with Gable Radio. We talk about antenna ideas that would be interesting to US ham radio operators and they have to test the market around the rest of the world because I don't have access to that. And I'll do a lot of testing for them and uh, there's some really interesting things coming up in the near future but something showed up on the amazon store that i had no knowledge about yeah it's a cool power cord lanyard with a clip but the really interesting thing is what's on the other end of that this is a really really small form factor base for a uhf connector to go to your coax a 3 8 by 24 on the top. I mean, look how small this is. It's tiny. So this goes with Gable Radio's recent high quality form factor small uh, line of products that they have been producing and introducing, like these small coil antennas that are carbon fiber whips. Very small form factor. This one is 10 meters and the coil, you've seen this on the channel, the coil comes off and now I have a whip that can be adapted to a lot of other antenna setups. The focus is on high quality construction, premium materials and small form factor. Now because this is small form factor, we're not going to be putting an SS17, an SS25 or a 34 foot vertical on this. This has a one quarter 20 female on the bottom so this is all small form factor so for those of you who want to say work with your small radios like your fx4cr or your ic705 or the new yesu unit which i don't own or any other small form factor radio with small form factor antennas this is the way to go so i'm just going to show you real quick how i would adapt this to my truck because I have all kinds of adapters with everything that I do. So I have the ability to go one quarter 20 and then get my coax on here. And it is a UHF connector. Some of you are going to go, why not BNC? I don't know the answer to that, right? Everybody has personal preference. Now I'm on BNC and now I'm ready to go to my FX4CR. So think again, small form factor antennas. You could go with a, well, right now, this isn't the antenna. I would could go with a 7350TC. This is the UHF versus the 3 8 by 24 I'll show you back in the shack how you can adapt to this. I'll show you back in the shack how you could adapt to this small Elecraft, really short, small form factor antenna. There are ways to do those adaptations in the shack. I'll show that, and so you'll know how to do that out in the field. So. You're going to be thinking 3 8 by 24. So like I've already said, you could go with the Gable radio, uh, the new coil antennas. Coil right now is out for 10 meters. I have in my possession one for 20 meters. It's not yet in production and available for sale, but I would believe that's coming shortly. So here we have a very small form factor antenna for stationary mobile here in the park. Because the whip comes off the top of this, this can then be put on another antenna. And while we're at it, why not show you another deployment that this little base unit actually comes with? It comes with its own tripod, 3H by 24. So this is going to come to you in a kit. It's going to have the base unit. It's going to have the lanyard and clip, and it's going to have a tripod. So this tripod is one quarter 20 and then this tripod has three positions on it and again i'll show that close up in the shack on the workbench i'm going to get this in its flattest setting so i can get it flat here on top of my back of my truck so back to getting my coax on here there are multiple ways to get radials on this again i'll show that back in the shack we're going to use the hoa ham radial method today with this alligator clip if you haven't seen that you've been living in a cave then we would take our radial wires and we'd give them a good toss and we would clip here and spread out our radials of course you could put this on a picnic table you could put this on a bench of a picnic table you can go right into the ground you could put this on a really tiny ground spike that has a quarter 20 mil threaded stud so now because i've got a tripod to go with this you can take something 
like another coil antenna you have that is 3 8 by 24 because again this is a 3 8 by 24 base and because the gable carbon fiber whips they're making them adaptable to just about every thread size out there we have an amateur radio you can take one of their 3 8 by 24 adapters that come with their carbon fiber whips this is the lock and pop version of their carbon fiber whip let's just put three sections together and I'm going to put the top section which tapers up to a ball here because now I have a whip that I can get resonant using my loading coil and I could do this on all the higher bands 10 15 12 17 and 20 by adjusting my coil again you could do that with the gable radio 7350 tc this is the t uhf version back in the shack we'll show you how to convert this over because with this little base unit we can not only do 3 8 by 24 we can do bnc and we can do uhf i'll show you how in the shack and i'm going to go over a lot more details in the shack i just wanted to get this to you really quick it just showed up on their amazon store i just got one a couple of days ago and they've only stocked with a very low inventory to begin with i wanted my subscribers to be the first ones to have first dibs this will probably show up in a future video many future videos i don't know that i need to do a full review on it it's very straightforward you know how to use this gear so let's do this let's pack this up let's get back to the shack i'm going to show you the details of the tripod and the base unit, how you can adapt it to uh, other antennas, whether it's 3 8 by 24 BNC or UHF. And then I want to show you all the ways that you can get ground radials on this. There were three obvious ways that you, of course, could come up with more. Back to the shack we go. We're back in the shack where we have better lighting than I had earlier outside. So you're going to get a really good look at this awesome little new adapter. And do remember it's one quarter 20 on the bottom. So while it will adapt to so many tripods that you may already own for photography or other small form factor tripods, don't go putting your large form factor antennas on this. An SS17, an SS25, a quarter wave 40 meter vertical is a no-no. You're going to snap that stud that is connecting to whether it's a small antenna, uh, a tripod, a small photography tripod, or a large photography tripod. Your tripod may be able to keep up a quarter wave 40 meter vertical, but the stud, the one quarter 20 stud, won't. This is for the small form factor antennas that Gable Radio has been introducing recently. So this does come with this lanyard and clip, so you can clip it onto your pack as you're getting ready to go POTA or your MCOM pack and it screws on and holds on. So that's just a nice little accessory. That's not important to me, but may be important to some of you. This is just a really cool little adapter. So I did say to you today when I was out at the park that there are multiple ways to get ground radials on this. And the way that I used was by putting my alligator clip that you've seen me use frequently on top of the PL259 connector. And then I would put my banana plug radials on and rock and roll. Some of you use that method. Some of you don't care for that method. That's perfectly fine. But let me show you two to three alternatives and then you can come up with some on your own as you normally would. So here is a really thin nut that I pulled off of a couple of my barrel connectors and that will go over top of this SO239. I honestly don't know what that thread size is. And then you can take a ring adapter that fits banana plugs and go over top of that and then use a second really thin nut over top of that. So essentially you're connected to the ground side, the negative side of the antenna system, the coax. And then you can go in here with your banana plug and bring your coax into this. That is an okay method. I don't prefer it because I'm not sure that I am going to be able to seat my coax on here as far as I would want it to, but I'll bet it will work. So if that is your preferred method, well, then you roll with that 
I'll be okay with that if you don't take my advice and say that's not my preferred method. Just because it's not my preferred method doesn't mean that it can't be yours. Now, let me show you a couple of other options that I have stumbled across based on the construction that we have here. And I'm going to need my multimeter for this. And I'll do a review on this multimeter sometime soon. It's actually um, a multi-capable unit. I'm using it strictly as a desktop multimeter. So let's get into continuity mode. And I want to show you something about this. So your tripod has a 1 quarter 20 stud going into the bottom side of the adapter, 1 quarter 20 female. It has a rubber mat here on the bottom, so it allows this to grip and not slide once you screw that together. You can put this ring terminal here, and believe it or not, even though it's touching that rubber pad, it is touching the underside of this adapter. So we should get continuity between the ring terminal and the SO239 here. Let's confirm that we do have that. All right, there's our confirmation. So that means you could roll with your banana plugs like this by putting that ring terminal on the underside of here. So there's a second method if you don't like the banana, uh, the alligator clip method. Um, there is another method here and it would be right here. There are three one quarter 20 holes that are threaded on each one of the legs. So each leg has one one quarter 20 hole on it. I have found that there's continuity there. And let's just see if I can confirm it now with what I have here. Yeah, there's continuity. So that means that even though these parts are painted, powder coated, there's continuity going from this threaded hole here all the way up to this stud here into the adapter. So if I want to take a ring terminal and put it on here, any one of the three legs, because one, two, three, all three legs have a one quarter 20 threaded opening, I could take a ring terminal, I could put it on one leg, I could put it on all three legs. And here you can see I've got a ring terminal on the outer edge of that leg, and then I could go in this fashion and have ground radials. So those are the multiple ways that you could get ground radials onto this unit. So enough of the ground radials. The other things that I wanted to show you, well, let's talk about this um, tripod itself. There is a gradation of steps. One, two, three. And those are achieved by spinning the ring. Right now the ring is in its position that allows me to get the tripod flat. If I go back one spin, one third of a spin, one fifth, or I should just say back to the next gradation. So gradation, there we go. Now I have a tripod that is partially collapsed and then I can go one more step. This would give your tripod its tallest configuration. So you can configure the tripod for height however you want. I always go in the flattest mode possible. And then when I put antennas on top of this, I try to keep a very low center of gravity by keeping the weight to the base. And if you put a carbon fiber antenna up, that allows this to be very stable. So this is how I roll. Now I had mentioned repeatedly that I can adapt this to other types of antennas. What did I mean by that? So if you take a connector like this, this is what you would see in a dipole bracket. And you just unscrew this and you tape, take that top nut the 3 8 by 24 nut off and whatever washers are there, you end up with this stud at the bottom that's 3 8 by 24 and it's connected to the center conductor on the other side. So whether or not you knew this, you just converted a 3 8 by 24 base over to UHF to use with whatever UHF 
antenna you might have in your possession. And guess what I have in my possession? I have a Gable Radio UHF antenna. So I can go from 3 8 by 24 to UHF. Well, what else can you do with this? If I can ever get all these threads to disconnect, good grief. We have one more connection that I want to show. And that would be, let's take the 3 8 24 stud back into this. Now my UHF connector is exposed here at the top. And you would take a male um, UHF, or call it a PL259 to BNC female, onto the top of that. What do I have there? Is that an end connector? No, it's not. That's just a really, really tight connector. We'll make it work. All right. Goodness gracious. That has to be one of the tightest connectors I have ever used from a dipole connector. And now what I have is a BNC at the top of this. And if you have a BNC antenna, like this, you know, really super inexpensive Elecraft, you would put this on top and it would adapt to the BNC connection. So you have an awful lot of adaptability here. This is a 3 8 by 24 base. This is a UHF base. This is a BNC base. And the really, really, really cool thing about it is its tiny form factor. So again, I don't know that I'll do any kind of full length video review on this. It just seems completely unnecessary. But let's just take one more quick look at this. And the reason why I say it's completely unnecessary is it's such, it's basic gear. It's just good gear, but it's basic gear. You should already know how to use this. And if you don't, maybe I shouldn't say it that way. I didn't know how to do this when I first started. So apologies for that comment. That's not a valid comment. If you're an experienced ham, you shouldn't need me to be telling you what to do with this. You should already know this. If like me several years ago, you weren't, you didn't know you could take all of these adapters and convert this to 3H20 from 3H24 to UHF to BNC. You can. I guess the only other things to say about this would be I'm going to assume, based on weight, I'm, I'm going to assume, I'm going to assume stainless. I got a magnet here. We're not, we're not connecting. Maybe it's aluminum. I don't know, but it is really good quality. I think it comes not only in this black anodized. Yes, I do believe that's black anodized somehow over there in Taiwan, Gable Radio has figured out how to have um, anodized still be conductive. That boggles my mind. We can't do that here in the States that I'm aware of. It must just be the type of anodized that they use. So construction, very high quality. I don't know what the polymer material is here. I'm not certain if this is aluminum or stainless. It, it's, it has some weight to it, but it is absolutely high quality. This is a really cool piece of gear. Those of you who are small form factor people, FX4CR, a K6 ARK, you know, microphone, everything you tried to do is minimalist. This is for you. This is the minimalist connector for 3 8 24 that can be converted to UHF and BNC. Hope you found this useful. That's an awesome piece of gear. Get your hands on one. Talk to you later, friend. 73.